I did a bun today. I did a YouTube tutorial to figure out how to do a messy bun. Yeah, that happened and I, I'm not sure if I'm digging it. Hi guys, welcome back to The Side Project. Well, things are about to get a little crazy here with our December give back. We are flipping the script this week. We have hit over 2,000 views on Facebook. Never dreamed that we would get so many views and so much response. I feel honored, I feel grateful. My friend Heather recommended this book called The Power of Moments and it is by Chip and Dan Heath. Oh, Sweetie Pie's a fan. You little shih tzu. <laughs> moments in our life that are defining moments, whether it's a transition, like a change in your career, or it might be the birth of a child. The premise of the book is that you can take these moments and create really powerful defining moments if you're intentional about it and if you're willing to just slow down a little bit. So, what else do you do when you hit a milestone? You have a party. I'm letting Ella pick the party. We are having a life-size giant Pac-Man party. Boom. So we're learning all about what it's like to engage in teamwork and cooperation and compromise. Got a little neighbor boy who's creeping over, trying to check it out. Pac-Man game is happening in T minus one hour. Ooh, that was a lot of work, let me tell you. Kids had a great time. I had to admit, I had a good time too. Now it's time to get back to business. Baby dolls are not gonna buy themselves, so we're headed back to Walmart to make sure that we buy enough babies for every person in the memory care facility on Sunday. We need to buy 26 babies and five plush puppies. Back to Walmart we go. Girl, you got some kids in your cart. <laughs> You are in over your head. <laughs> Good luck. What's that? Yeah. Can I have a good system going? Did you guys have fun at Walmart? Mm -hmm. Walmart. We got a lot of babies to wrap. Yeah. We're gonna be busy We're tonight. Wrapping this song. Oh, we like to wrap, wrap, wrap up the naps. <laughs> yep. We like to wrap, wrap, wrap up the naps. There's no nap taking until this is done. I hope this goes okay. I'm, ner I'm nervous. Oh, no, don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. No. Because it's kind of like going in not really knowing what to expect is probably a good place to be. In that moment, mm -hmm. you know, like I was saying the other day, mm -hmm. you may not witness a lot of interest, mm -hmm. but at some point there will be, mm -hmm. you know? You're right. Then? Okay. So. Right now, I'm going to give each each of you guys one of these blankets. Ella, I got, here. Mine. I got mine right here. Okay, let me take one for myself then, okay? okay. Which one is this one for? Okay, so notice how it's folded yeah. in half, you guys. You're going to open it up. Try me. Look. No. Uh, it sounds like a doorbell. No, it's a lullaby. Oh, I'm getting tired. <laughs> I'm getting sleepy. Hey guys, we managed to make it through the night. All 30 babies taken out of their packages, all 30 babies wrapped in blankets and tied with beautiful ribbons and bows on top. It was a long night, I'm not gonna lie. Woke up this morning pretty exhausted and feeling really proud. I could not have done this without my friends. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Bella. Thank you, Ella. And thank you, everybody out there who is supporting me with this journey. I'm working on a new blog post next week, and I'm kind of curious as to whether viewers out there would prefer a video blog instead of a written blog. The whole topic is about cooking in the kitchen and bringing back old recipes that my mom and I used to cook together and taking this time to cook them with my daughter to pass along those traditions. Let me know down in the comments below if you would like 
a video log or a written log for next week. Make sure you hit like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed this video and share it with others who you think it might brighten their day. Got a lot going on next week. We deliver these babies and we just can't wait to share this experience with all of you. As always, stay strong, stay grateful, and stay present. We'll see you next week.